Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today we're going to be putting in more work onto the uh, Subaru. I'm going to try and uh, finish off the uh, rest of the of the bash bar uh, tied into the bottom down here and then add some bracing over here to the side right there. Uh, it does look like I'm going to be getting rid of the um, looks like the uh, airbag sensor because uh, you know who needs airbags we die like men right so I already disconnected the battery pumped the brakes to make sure that there is no uh, electricity in the system and I'll be removing those bad boys right now oh, yeah, I wasn't able to show what it looked like on the last video but I pretty much just made an L bracket that hooks up to the uh, fender to give it the spacing that I wanted for the back and then I also put another little bracket piece here to uh, be able to install the mud flaps. But I think I'm going to have to go with a different brand because the one in the back already cracked. I mean, these were pretty cheap. They were like $20 on Amazon, so I'm not too worried about it. I am going to move on to rubber ones, though. Maybe slightly longer because these ones don't really cover up that much either. So here's the bracket that holds the sensor. Just gotta figure out how to unplug it because it's usually some weird thing. I'm gonna need both hands. So here we have one side removed. Here's number two. So I didn't film it for YouTube because uh, it was like a small project that I did over uh, a couple hours one day. But I actually took the um, the stock ECU, I took it from its location and I shoved it into the uh, glove box here. So this is the new location for the, um, for the ECU. That way I can keep it as high up away from water. And I'm trying to, I'm going to try and see if I can remove all this. So that I can get all of that airbag stuff out. Alright, so this is what we were looking for. So I took off the uh, radio surround, the radio, and the uh, shifter surround. So I can get to this little bad boy right here. That's the uh, airbag control unit. And that guy has to go. And once we take this guy out, there won't be any power going to uh, any of the two airbags in the car. So I already removed the wiring that ran underneath the fender on this side. Uh, this is the wiring that goes to the actual uh, airbag on the dash. Alright, first things first is let's get rid of this darn control unit. And just like that, no more airbag system. All right, so that was a little bit of a sidetrack, but we got that out of there. It's out of the way now, so we don't have to worry about it. And we can actually stall. We can start uh, measuring and cutting our uh, plates that we're gonna weld onto the sides so that we can run some pipe to it. All right, what's up guys? This is gonna be day three of building this, uh, of finishing up the the bash bar on the Subaru. Yes, day three, because day two, I forgot my GoPro and I didn't film him anything. But uh, let me show you what I did do on day two. So, I boxed up this piece here um, so that I can attach a pipe to this to strengthen this up. Ignore that ugly weld, it's about to be grinded and redone. I also added this plate here because I'm going to be running a pipe to this for side strength. And then I also bought uh, some aluminum uh, tin so I can build a little piece here for a dam. That way I don't get straight air into there and, um, you know, hashtag aerodynamics or whatever. But, um, I did notice that the car uh, lost some uh, miles per gallon 
which doesn't really matter, but it is my daily, so it does kind of matter to me. Um, well, let's get started and see if I can actually remember to videotape some of the stuff that I do because I mean, I get into a groove, and I'm sure it happens to you guys all the time. I get into a groove, and I forgot that I'm recording, so I stop recording, and I do a bunch of stuff that I never got on video. Um, I'll try to get better, though. All right, so now we have the uh, the lower tubes mounted. Now we're going to uh, try and uh, measure and cut the plate that I'm gonna put there. I'm gonna be making it out of aluminum just to keep things a little light. Uh, for now, it's not gonna have any holes on it because I don't have the die to do that. But eventually, I'll buy the die and I'll make the holes on it because, you know, the radiator needs to breathe. So this is the plate I ended up buying. It's, uh, I believe, a 24 by 24. It should fit perfectly. And we'll have some left over just in case we need to do or make anything else with it. All right, so pretty much this is what I want it to look like. I just got to take the measurements to see exactly where I have to cut it and whatnot. And then I'm going to drill the holes and place it on the car. I just got to weld the tabs on too. All right, so now we got our piece cut and the bird. Let's see what it's gonna fit like. So there it is. That is exactly what I was looking for. I still gotta cut the, um, or I mean, I still gotta weld the tabs on and drill the holes through, so it'll be done soon. So I pretty much got the plate done. This is the final product. I did end up having to uh, do one more tab right here in the middle. That way it doesn't flop around in the wind like a freaking limp schlong. You know what I mean? Um, now it's time to continue on the sidebars. That way we can continue reinforcing this thing. I had already previously put a plate on here. And I painted it black, that way it didn't rust, so I'm going to have to grind off all that paint. Alright, so, so far so good. We were able to get a really tight gap there and here, but the back piece looks pretty shit so I'm gonna have to fill it 
um, maybe use like another little piece of pipe to reinforce it or something but I mean it's not too bad I'm pretty much new to building stuff like this so I do need work on my welding I was getting penetration but uh, just setting up the speed and the temperature on the uh, on the welder was kind of an issue I was getting a lot of uh, little bubbles I believe it's because it was pretty windy today so it was letting the uh, co2 escape but um, overall I'm happy with it pretty strong um, I do have to I do want to change a couple things uh, mainly this piece get something that actually covers up all the way out to here so I want to get rid of these and install D rings up here that way I can get a little bit more ground clearance by taking this out so on the next video I am going to be making the skid pad just going from here to back there that way I don't have to ruin another uh, oil pan and I can off-road a little more confidently. And then also, I'm gonna have to start saving up to change out the uh, power steering rack. It looks like it's already leaking. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully another video will come up soon. I still have a lot of work to do to the A86. And um, I did end up having to order my, uh, you know, the budget coilover kit from, uh, from Technotoy Tuning. So I'm going to be building my own coilovers too. I'll get that on video. And um, yeah, hopefully everything goes good. And once I get them, I'll get to work on the Corolla. That way we can go to some more autocross.